What is printing people? Welcome back to Custom 3D. Today, I'm gonna to be discussing Prusa Slicer and Ultimate Kikira, and which one I prefer. So thanks guys, and stay tuned. So now on to Ultimate Kikura, and we'll go to add a new printer, which is where we left off. So when you want to add a printer, as you can see, I have some presets in here. You just click Add Printer, add a non-network printer, and you have probably hundreds of printers here, definitely hundreds of printers available to pick. And it's really, really easy. So if I want to add an Ultimate Kikura S5, all I do is click that and add. Uh, I don't think you can see it, but it uh, it comes up after you hit add a printer, and it's uh, got a lot of different menus. So if we move on to uh, the next menu, which is your materials, you know, you click that, I don't think you can see this either, but you can see your material, nozzle size, and whatnot. You have a bunch of different materials. Uh, available to choose from like PLA, PHG, ABS, ASA, things like that. And then I don't think you can see this either because it's all separate menus. When I click on it, it doesn't come up on my screen recording for some reason. But uh, you have quality, your different layer heights and everything like that. So when it comes to layout, I definitely prefer Kira over Prusa Slicer. I find it easier to use and navigate uh, so if we want to add a file in here, let's say we want to add a gear. We have a gear here, and let's say we want to add another model, which we go to multiply. Now let's say we want to arrange, and we arrange all models. It doesn't work sometimes, and it's really weird. Uh, so it's just, I just don't understand it. <laughs> you know, like it's definitely not as straight up as Prusa Slicer, which is definitely an advantage on Prusa Slicer. Um, and then we can click preview and we can do this in uh, Prusa Slicer as well after you hit slice. And uh, as you can see, we have the time here, material and grams and meters. And then you can go here and it's really, it's okay. Here's another thing. If you want to do this in multicolors and multi-materials, it's easier to do that in Prusa Slicer as well because all you need to do is you have this bar on the right here and you click you click the plus button and it says, all right, you need to change the material here, I'll pause it here. In Cura, you have to go to extensions, post-processing, modify G-code, add a script. Oh wait, it's, it's, just, it's just a bunch of uh, different steps that you have to take that it's a lot easier to do in Prusa Slicer. So why don't we start off with the Prusa Slicer? As we can see here, I have the original Prusa uh, Mark III S on here, um, and we have our menu on the right here where we can select some of our settings, our material, our layer heights, and the printer supports and fill brim, whatnot. So why don't we start off with adding a model, and we'll just do a simple spacer here. As we can see, we have the model here, and if we want to start off on the left side, we can move it, scale it, rotate, you know, the usual, cut it, which I've never tried actually. Uh, then we can paint on supports and uh, seam painting as well. Now, I really don't use those two at all, so, uh, you know, I just use the stock settings basically. And then on the top row here, we can add another model, delete the current one or all of them. And then we can hit this arrange button, which is really nice. So if we wanna add, you know, a uh, certain amount of instances here, we can add one or we can set number of instances and we can do 20. And then we can simply just hit this arrange button. And there we go, you got 20 spacers, which is really great because I do a lot of bulk items. And then if we go over here, we can see we have all of our uh, settings for layer heights, filament, 
and the printer. So before we move on to that, why don't we go over, yeah, we have the supports here in fill brim. We can go over print settings. We can change all of this film and settings and printer settings. Um, so it's a really decent layout. Uh, I will say the main advantage of this is speed. Uh, I have found that prints usually are faster when I use Prusa Slicer. Um, that's probably just because of the path it chooses to take when it prints something. Uh, when it comes to adding a new printer, I will say it's not incredibly easy, uh, unless it's one of the preset ones they have. Uh, it's definitely not as straight up as Ultimaker Cura, and we'll go over that when we go to Ultimaker Cura right now. So that's a quick rundown and of these two uh, slicers. And so which one is my preference? Now I will say both have their benefits and drawbacks. And I think I highlighted a few of them in this short video. So my preference is probably Prusa Slicer. I still have some learning to do with that slicer. And I think I, once I get really good with it, I will definitely 100% prefer over Cura. Uh, just some of the menus are a little bit tough for me to learn. So I recommend Prusa Slicer, but Cura has its, you know, advantages and it's not a bad slicer either. So thanks guys. Make sure to check out all the links in the description below and uh, say hi to Cody. Cody, say hi. It's Cody, my dog. So thanks guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.